how to set up automatic and default enrollments. So we go to the plan level because we have to set up the op, uh, enrollments at the option level. So we go here and we search our plan. Then we go to the enrollment screen stop, which is logical because we are dealing with the enrollment, so we will go to the enrollment screen stop only. So this is open, then let we we'll decide which option we want to automatically enroll. So we go, for example, we go to the self option. We want to enroll this automatically. So when we go, we, we have selected this and when we go down, so here we can see this automatic formula. So we go to actions and we click on correct. We have to check this automatic enrollment. And this this automatic formula will come into picture if we have created a fast formula for, for automatic enrollments. Else we have to go here, go to the enrollment rule and choose this one. This will mean current assign automatically, new assign automatically. So what does this mean? This rule means that as soon as you will go and process the life event, you will let the new, the automatic option will, automat will be enrolled as soon as you process the live event. So for example here it is, so it will, it says the second formula says current assign automatically new nothing. So that means the current enrollment which is currently for the, for the employee. So that will remain and for the new uh, automatic option nothing will happen. So we will go and choose this current assign automatically, new assign automatically. And then we simply go on save. So we have a green check mark, check mark here on the enrollment column. So this means that this particular automatic enrollment has been configured. So we'll just go back and see. We have made the changes to the plan configuration, so we'll have to back out the live event and reprocess it again. So as we can see here, this was the particular option which we said that to assign automatically. So we can see that it is grayed out and we just cannot remove this, this particular tick. Whereas we can go ahead and check this, but we cannot do anything with this particular option because we have assigned it as an automatic enrollment. So this is one thing about automatic enrollment. Now when we talk about default enrollment, so it is also the same thing. We'll go to the same place and configure. Let me just show it to you.
what I'll do is I'll remove the automatic setting and just keep the default setting so that you can understand better. Or let's do one thing, I'll give the default setting to some other option so that we can see both of them together. So we've selected the self plus family option. Go to actions, you click on current. This is the assign on default option. This was the automatic enrollment option and just right below here it is the assign on default. So and along with this we will choose the default enrollment rule. We will choose the same thing, new default, current default. So for automatic enrollment rule, please do not confuse between this automatic formula and enrollment rule. For the automatic enrollment rule, you have to choose this particular checkbox and this particular rule. And for default, it is pretty clear, it's written assign on default and default enrollment. 